I'm Cory Duke. Here's a look at today's top stories from Two Works for You. Looking ahead, 1,000 plus Tolsons expected at a Back the Blue rally at LaFortune Park tomorrow. Organizer Kara Rayleigh says it's a peaceful march around the park to show support for police right now. She says the key to easing tensions, fixing mutual hurt between the community and law enforcement. Now the march begins at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Another Oklahoma City mandating masks. Starting Saturday, masks are mandatory in Stillwater. The city Council unanimously approved the measure to require people to wear a mask or face covering in public. Now, this includes schools, restaurants and other businesses through the end of November. This comes after Norman City officials also passed a mask mandate. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission is cracking down on fraud. Leaders say that they've made a couple changes to help stop it here in Oklahoma. That includes more steps in verifying people's identities and more analysis on the finances of each transaction with the commission. Now, they warn this could mean a delay in direct deposit payments. Now, let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Well, we're looking at some isolated storms this morning, some of those becoming severe in portions of northern Oklahoma. Temperatures warming up into those middle 90s for this afternoon. Heat index of 103 forecasted for today as we head into this evening. Mostly sunny and warm with temperature of 92 by 8 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be warmer. Triple digits on the way for your Saturday. We are looking at a chance for some isolated strong to severe storms in the forecast for your Saturday as well. Sunday cooler with a high of 95 and then the heat builds as we head into this upcoming work week seeing multiple days with triple digits once again. And that's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works for You for updates all throughout the day.